The City West Hotel played host to the 8th Camogie All-Stars, an event that gets bigger and better every year. As well as the 45 All-Star nominees, 18 soaring stars were recognised for their excellence in 2011. As expected, Wexford and Galway dominated the All-Stars, gaining six awards each, including the All-Ireland Final Player of the Match. Collecting our fifth All-Star this evening, welcome please, Kate Kelly from Wexford. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I wouldn't have thought it a couple of years ago, but it's been an unbelievable and I suppose the main thing is to win the All-Irelands and when you have them, everything else is a bonus really. And how sweet is it to get an All-Star along with five other Wexford girls tonight? Fantastic, it's, uh, it's a great feeling. Um, it, it's what every player dreams of, to be honest. Galway, look, it's always a little bit disappointing when you're here tonight, you know, when you're, you know, with all the Wexford ones, I suppose, look, they got it at the end of the day. But uh, look, at it, one thing, you, you, you listen to the speeches and you go, right, next year, you know, and that's all you can do, and, you know. But it's a good year to reflect, it's a good, a good night to reflect on the, the year gone by and, you know, the, the, good, the good and the bad and, you know, enjoy it. Brenda did win the All-Ireland club title with Kalimer back in March when her teammate and now fellow All-Star Award winner copied a certain Kerry man's celebrations. That's right, um, I made a pact with some of my buddies. If I ever won the All-Ireland, I was going to do Paul Galvin on it. So that day was just such, it was a great honour to win the All-Ireland. And as they said before, with your club and everything was super. And, you know, hopefully we'll be back there this year. We just won our county final last Monday and um, we're hoping to make it back to Park for the double maybe. <laughs> Special guest of the Camogie Association was Brian Cody, who attended this year's All-Ireland Finals and picked out a special performance by a losing player in the Intermediate Final. I met Jane earlier on, Jane Adams, and I was um, sort of bewildered watching her there in our, in our match. You know, I was beside Elsie and I kept referring to see that girl there. I hadn't seen her playing before and she was playing on a team that wasn't winning the game. I thought her whole attitude to our whole sense of team of knowing how to be a team player was was immense on that day and the athleticism she showed and the sheer commitment and the drive and everything about her just stood out for me that day so Jane fair play to you. it was absolutely outstanding to see that performance that's no that has definitely been an achievement in itself to get such great works for two men who I would always highly respect it. Um, Sir O'Farrell doing everything that he does with Galway and within RT and everything that he does and Brian Cody, the, he's a legend in my books. Um, I'm an Antrim fan but I'm also a Kilkenny fan so it's great to hear those words coming from him. So you were blushing? Yeah, I'm still blushing now thinking about the words but no, it's great to have somebody being so complimentary about you. Back to the All-Stars team and Cork, who collected two awards, are already aiming to improve on that tally in 2012. Yeah, well I suppose it's everyone's dream to get to an Ireland final and I suppose that's what we wanted, but to have an All-Star is pretty good as well. Delighted with it. Yeah, I know, I suppose, you know, you have to be satisfied when it's the end of the year and you look back in hindsight and, you know, you just hope now that this will be a motivation to drive on for next year and hopefully we get more. One man also with an eye on next year is the O'Neill's Manager of the Year, JJ Doyle. Wexford will be going for a third successive title. We'd love to win three in a row and we're not going to hide from the fact that, that, that we'll be going for three in a row next year. But if we don't win in 2012, and 2012 is all we can control, what's happened is in the history books, it's done. All we can do now is try and win in 2012 and we'll do everything possible to to make that happen and, and we'll work throughout the course of the league and the Leinster Championship and prepare as well as we can for Championship and we'll see what happens and like like this year it's on the day an awful lot's on the day and, and how a team performs and how a team maybe I suppose puts or deals with the pressure that's on them and maybe there'll be even that more pressure on us next year but we're looking forward to it and you know it's a great challenge it's a great place to be and, and hopefully we'll be back in Crow Park next September.